Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Very happy to have you. Before we get started, go ahead and take a trip down below the video, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you stay up to date on the latest and greatest videos. If you like this video at the end, please also hit the like button. So today we're gonna to talk about the Compact Ryobi Palm Router. This is a super cool tool. It's on the OnePlus lineup. So it runs off of a battery and it's great to carry in your tools and, and your travels for whenever you need to do some really nice edge work on wood or whenever you need to uh, route out hinges or anything for doors or something like that. So stick around and we're gonna test this out today. Okay, so this is the P601. It has 29,000 rotations per minute. Um, it has a quarter inch uh, callet inside, so that just means the diameter of the bits that you're able to use. So it is on the smaller side and that's okay. Um, and it claims to have a 600 foot range uh, per charge. This does call to use the P108 battery, which is a four amp hour battery at 18 volts DC. Um, let's get into some of the things that I'm going to be doing today. So this is a one by five inch trim board. It's a nice solid trim board and I'm going to run the edge on this side and we're just going to round it out and see how smooth that we can actually get that. I know that has a lot to do with the bits that we're going to use. And for this, I'm just going to use the, it's called the Roundover Router Bit Set by Ryobi. It's a uh, super handy bit. And not only can you, do you just need to round it, but if you want to put a design into the edge of it and maybe uh, push it just a little bit deeper, you're able to do that as well. Put a little bit of an artistic twist on it or craftsman twist on it. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll do the round on this side and then on this side over here. So on the opposite side, we're going to be putting it, uh, plunging it just a little bit deeper and we'll put that more decorative edge on it. So for the second test, I'm going to use the plunge bits and this is the straight router bit set. And what I use these the most for is if I'm making a plaque for family or someone else, um, this is how I actually route it out. It works really, really well. So um, we'll be putting a, a nice little design in here and we'll plunge it in and we'll see how it comes out. So stick around. Okay, let's take a close look at the one by five. And this is where I rounded it off. 
and I'm not sure how well this will show up on screen, but you can see it's very smooth. I can run my finger up and down it. Uh, that has a lot to do with the bit itself, but it also has a lot to do with the rotations per minute and what the router is able to do. But you can see it's very smooth. It's very nice. And if we switch it over, I haven't sanded anything. Let's just you know, I'll point that out. I haven't cleaned it up. This is just the raw finish from the router itself. Uh, so you can see how clean that is all the way down. And then you can see where I started as well on both sides. And I can run my finger up and down this as well. And there's no shards, uh, nothing like that. It's not splintering at all. So it worked out really well. Taking a closer look, and this is some really rough plywood, and all I did here is this is live, and I just attached um, all of the letters within this word, and I went about a 16 inch deep uh, depth on here, and I wanted to do this to show that how smooth the cut is on this, on this rough wood, uh, and you know, please excuse has the wobbly lines right here I messed up because I hit a screw that I was uh, attaching this down to so but all I did is I just traced it out and uh, I plunged it and free handed it across and it has really clean lines like I said it has a lot to do with the bit but it also has a lot to do with uh, the RPMs the stability um, and the plunge depth lock is very nice and it locks very well so the friction lock on that is um, very useful. Okay so a few things that I failed to mention when I first started the video is that um, the router is able to adjust an inch and a half um, of travel distance to accommodate your bits. Um, it does have a really nice speed lock, so you don't have to use the adjuster knob at the bottom. Uh, you can just pull the tab and it goes up and down. But that also demonstrates just how far you can go. And uh, that really does help, especially if you're doing plunge cuts or some really intricate um, woodwork. And it does have measurements on the dial itself as well. I don't necessarily use those. I, I typically measure and I look at my depth from the bit itself. Uh, that also brings me to a couple other features. It does have a uh, viewing glass here. I will say this doesn't work as well just because it collects uh, a lot of sawdust. So you have to be very careful because uh, you'll need to use the open side, the back side, to look at it. Um, it does have a transparent bottom to it, but that really doesn't help either because of the sawdust. So remember, you always wear your PPE. That's personal protective equipment. And that's some of these right here. And watch your hands. Never, ever, ever stick your hands um, in the rotation zone while you have a battery inside because you could accidentally turn it on. And if you do get your hand stuck in there, your finger stuck in there, uh, let's just say that is a quick ticket to the hospital very, very quickly because this is not gonna stop rotating until you turn that off. I will say just the portability of this particular unit, the fact that you can throw it in your tool bag and it's not a big plunge type, uh, really I think it's worth its weight in gold. I think you can pick this up right now for around 50 to $70 depending on the sales that Home Depot has. You can also go on directtools.com, get a scratch and dent version of the tool and it works just the same. I've dropped this a few times and it's got some scratch and dent so I guess it would be the same as buying something like this or you can find it used online but I really hope that this has helped you in your decision making if you're planning on buying a portable router I would recommend the Ryobi with that being said thanks everyone for watching I truly appreciate you and I hope to see you in the next video take care bye now